There are two Kickstarter campaigns uh, about clear masks and um, I both support them and so uh, but I want to show if you don't want if you don't want to wait uh, half a year and maybe later uh, for, for five, less than five dollars how you can build these things yourself and so uh, this is the first Kickstarter from New Zealand Which uh, price is okay. Uh, I think here, uh, what's uh, 30, yeah, without my glasses, <laughs> no use. 20, 23rd euro, it's from New Zealand and therefore the uh, shipping is, is a bit. And um, so one is first about this and, and then the second here, very nice uh, innovative. <laughs> which is from silicon and, and also only 34 euro and uh, so both uh, very <laughs> nice kickstarters um, you should uh, back uh, but um, you see um, <laughs> there are some here on China with uh, flexible and here that's uh, here um, this mask it was uh, too, um, too small with the size and this seller e even cheaper than the first uh, that uh, it uh, has two sizes, so I already ordered two of these. But there, uh, no, no way <laughs> that uh, this original mask uh, could fit my, my face, especially a European face. And so you see, that's also here the problem. But um, as I said, um, I still back this campaign, and because you see, they have a, a huge rubber. I guess it's of rubber here outside, so that it. It may indeed uh, fit better than this uh, plastic thing here, which has uh, really no flexible uh, edge here. And, and so <laughs> I explain you how you can uh, do it uh, far cheaper, but that's, this will not really make the world a better place. And it does not really, you see, it's here with the foam. So the first thing uh, you, you have to, <laughs> you heat it up to 200 degrees Celsius. Uh, with in the oven or with a uh, heat gun and and then uh, so you see first <laughs> first uh, uh, <coughs> did um, terribly go wrong <laughs> and, and and so uh, you see the, the, the downside we did, do not want here to to uh, become uh, flexible as well and and then you put it here in, in a box and with a heat gun so it's really a uh, at, uh, from 150 degrees Celsius on, and then you have a, a easel a mask with with a, perhaps here below a, a bit of paper, and then with a glove you press it here in place. Ah, <coughs> oh, no, <laughs> And yeah, with the second try, it, it somehow succeeded. Uh, then here the foam, you just uh, take some some foam here, very nice uh, uh, knife. And then um, you, you can slice it here. Uh, so here, and this, if you've sliced it, you could put it here on uh, onto, onto this mask. Um, it's, it's better to really uh, cut out uh, two slices. So it really, if it, that's the way I did it here. And um, so here, again, you should not put the plastic heat up to 200 degrees because this is polyethylene and it melts already from starting from 100 degrees Celsius and so it's still this uh, that's a filter here and, and and so usually two headbands and that's also uh, you see here uh, the Kickstarter uh, it's very tight and to fit and so that's a pro professional way to go I think I think but these uh, masks uh, don't really uh, I don't really <laughs> here in Germany it's allowed to, to, to make a scarf simple scarf uh, before your face and walk around it's totally useless and so here is a FPP2 filter this is better than, than this one here and so uh, I decided to make it really very comfortable uh, and so you see here uh, that's easy to put on and here, because the foam here is very soft, it, it's still, I can see the, the air going here. Uh, and so that's because you have to be a one. And, and now you see here, 
I did weird once in a supermarket and it uh, really no one could see my my smile be because uh, the um, the mist uh, did cover all the glass and that's also uh, concerning these uh, they say yeah we have solved the problem and um, so yeah there may be some anti uh, fog coatings and so um, don't know a lot about these uh, but I know that what is coming out here is 100 uh, degree, 100% uh, humidity at uh, 37 degrees Celsius. And in winter time, and that's when these masks arrive, and that's when we need these masks. It's outside, it's below freezing point, and so it for sure will condensate. And, and so uh, only idea that you would have to heat the, 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 the transparent glass to, uh, let's say, 40 degrees Celsius, or make a two Two, uh, lay, two uh, double layer with air between which that you heat up to 40 degrees Celsius. And so uh, maybe it's really, uh, you see now it's summertime and they make these nice uh, demonstrations and, and, and therefore, uh, yeah, uh, no fog because well, if it's outside the 35 degrees Celsius, <laughs> then you won't have any fog, uh, any uh, whatever. Uh, in, inside, uh, but uh, in winter time, it's don't really know if, if this is okay. That's uh, was this uh, first, uh, as, as you see here, uh, United States even cheaper, but I don't know the shipping cost. Uh, to to uh, you, you should for Europeans should always take uh, the large one, <laughs> and um, but you have to expect uh, you see the uh, here reviews are uh, very poor reviews. Uh, and that's uh, no way to fit, and, and so it, it really. Uh, where, where's my uh, my my feedback uh, here? That if you really um, adjust it, if you heat it up two hundred degrees Celsius, if you fit it in place, you do not need uh, such. You could take two clothes, one below, one up, uh, and then put here and with a glove. It, it's it's possible. Uh, but it can also fail, so uh, at least, and that's why I say, you see, uh, this uh, really, um, they, they need, um, I, I fear they will not make a go, and um, you see, that's really um, way, way more professional uh, than this, this stuff, and uh, it's still, it's really a good price, uh, shipping from New Zealand, well, okay, that's not the same as shipping from China, uh, and so, um, you see, um, this is uh, now to the next revolutionary flexible. This is, uh, I think, the more proper s solution. And, and so um, you see, um, they only have one size. And uh, my, my big, uh, I think it's only 100 and 10.3 uh, milli centimeters, 103 millimeters from the chin here to, to there. Uh, doesn't really know. Yeah, yeah, 10 centimeters. And, and so I. If we don't uh, get uh, to, to stretch goal, I will have to cancel this pledge. So, okay, let's see. And now here for this uh, very cool looking, and you see, yeah, also a bit of uh, fog inside, and yeah, it's summertime, and they say, okay, they have not yet coated it. And so, okay, here are yeah, big, big numbers. So if they... <laughs> It's probably both are probably not not a scam, uh, a fraud. But uh, if they uh, will be able to deliver all these masks within, and here thirty five four euro for such uh, with with no straps, uh, which will cling to your face and <coughs> cool thing. <laughs> and if it works, and and so uh, just want to. <laughs> Spent up because they were they are open. To, they make have a video where they show how they um, made the prototype, and <laughs> so now I <laughs> will show you how we can uh, do it ourselves. Uh, with uh, perfect for our faces, but still, uh, if you all the, all things you do for yourself, this will not make the world a better place. Yeah, and and, and where, whereas this you see could make somehow it's a it's a crowdfunding it's an innovative product, and so you see instead of wasting hours for for having something that no one else has, it's it's really far more happy to to back such a campaign, and uh, yeah I don't know how good this, these will fit and as you see this looks very round and therefore well, probably will not fit, 
Uh, but uh, yeah, you can this two component uh, transparent silicone, you know, 500 gram, gram and uh, that would be enough for uh, that's at least uh, 10 to 20 mass, different on eBay. And so uh, here's a 3D, uh, <coughs> 3D uh, model. And, and now let's, <laughs> let's start with cool stuff. <laughs> so here that, uh, here's the model. And then I added, uh, uh, a first uh, approximation of, of a mask that's very simple, uh, uh, just six, six or eight or faces, which with a subdivision, uh, where are we here? Uh, subdivision, uh, that's, that's a shitty Blender software. <laughs> both, both have physics and here that's uh, a, a cloth. And, and so also a very simple uh, mesh only uh, that's four faces and but uh, lots of uh, modifiers so here that's a subdivision surface and here's a class modifier and all the other three right now are disabled and uh, so here in the physics tabs so it's a uh, close physics with rubber and uh, some if you want to do it yourself quality five here quality 10, uh, self collisions, uh, mass 0.3 structural. I could upload these to, to, to some place, GitHub. And, and so, yeah, and, and yet you simply go here to one and animate it. And then the close modifier will go over this mask. And you see this uh, here uh, could be uh, uh, your 3D scanned. <coughs> Uh, yes, 3D scanned a face uh, of my Android app. I think on iPhone there are better apps and perhaps there's an online uh, face because uh, what I scanned in the, I really I have a big nose and, and so, uh, okay. Um, now we are here and we go to, to uh, let's frame four. Oh, oh. oh, I have to, have to do it again. That's something uh, that has, uh, clear the cache. Uh, so here now we are. Uh, let's forward and, and now uh, let's go and activate the modifier. First make it, um, oh, it was wrong here, make it more smooth and then solidify it. So for, for, for 3D printing. <laughs> and in the end, uh, I, I cut it uh, to, for, for better 3D printing. Uh, so here that's a boolean boolean modifier and then you have and you have a nice mask that really would fit 100% into your face if you really scanned your face and as this you can export here file export stl and then you end up here is a 3D printing model, which you can slice and then print. Here's a print preview. <coughs> uh, so let's only show single layers and five hours printing time. And uh, so you see here now it's... And with such a... With such a, a model, then you could... Uh, uh, is it really? Uh, yeah, it looks uh, somehow convex here at the nose. It might not be a little bit concave, but it looks con quite quite convex. Have a look here. Yeah, it's it's convex, and therefore you could uh, take a, a plastic a sheet, a plastic sheet, uh, polyethylene uh, or polyester, a PET, and make a, a wooden frame with, uh, and and then simply put it in the oven. 200 degree and then just with the wooden frame whoop, pull it over this uh, this um, printed mask and you would have your plastic thing. Or you could uh, increase it here, object placement and, and stretch it uh, by uh, let's 1.1, uh, 5% and, and print it the second one and then you could indeed still Still just uh, put the, the plastic sheet in the oven or, or with no frame and then thin, put it in between these two plastic and, and press them together. 
you see this uh, also becomes uh, soft at 105, 150 degrees Celsius. So you, the plastic should not be too, too, too big, so the heat capacity is not too much. Or, um, or the plastic should be bigger so that it doesn't get uh, soft, uh, heated up that, that quickly. quickly. <laughs> and you see, yeah, then you could make your... Uh, your uh, own uh, printer, uh, but it would not have this uh, cling to your face. And okay, that's a sh uh, some some coating which you could do as well. It still has not the filters, and, and therefore you see it's <laughs> that's why I'm making uh, this campaign. You see, okay, yeah, you can do it, and I, to understand uh, uh, what you get here and if it's really um, a, a fraud or not. That's why why I wanted to show you. Uh, that, um, well, yes, uh, you can also already buy some uh, stuff from China, which, well, <laughs> I did order this five piece from, from France and so maybe it will appear and uh, will give a, a review perhaps. But uh, this is really something um, that's uh, possible and it's very innovative, innovative and, and, and not really uh, that. Um, expensive uh, as there was an indiegogo clear mess it was really uh, it was a bit too expensive for me uh, and and so but this one really is uh, i think a good idea i really i <laughs> still not um convinced uh, that uh, really that in winter time this will not uh, become completely invisible due to the moisture um but yeah that's enough <laughs> to show you what you can do at home and what you can um, become a part of at Kickstarter. Okay, bye-bye.